keep an eye on the central active region on the sun. Whoa, that was a massive M8.2 class solar flare observed over three hours. Here's another look at the same sun at a different wavelength. We can clearly see some of the loops that are facing right at us and it's heading this way. This is incredible. And this still here is probably one of my favorites from this event. The sun just farted out a massive coronal mass ejection and some of it's heading for us. These animations from Soho shows the extremely violent event on the sun on May 30th. And a recent NOAA alert says that the aurora may be seen as low as Alabama or Northern California, which is really exciting. Minor to moderate radio blackouts are likely with a slight chance of a stronger radio blackout, and the latest forecast says that there is a chance that the storm gets upgraded to a G5. The last time we had a G5 storm was May 2024. And in fact, this picture that you see behind me on the calendar here is a photo I took of the aurora from May 2024. So it's kind of fitting that my last video of last video recorded in May 2025 features the aurora from last year. The current prediction says that we can expect the storm to hit midday on June 1st UTC time and the G4 status will likely go into the early morning of June 2nd. This is great for both Europe and North America. Remember that these are all predictions and not guaranteed. There are a lot of dependencies that can determine how good of a show we will get. The biggest factor is probably the IMF or the interplanetary magnetic field. It's measured in two ways, the BT or the strength or the BZ, the direction of the field lines. These are measured in nanoteslas and the more is better. So we want a BT value to be high, which means that the field will put up a good fight and a BZ value to be low, as negative as it can go, which means that the field lines are south facing and will be directly over our heads. Spaceweather.gov is an excellent resource to keep an eye on. Use apps like Astrospheric and maybe windy.com to get cloud forecast information. And if you take photos and want to discuss anything about auroras or astronomy, check out the link in the description below for an invitation to our Discord server where we have a whole section on auroras and a lot more on astronomy. And if you're in the Boston area and want to join me for some Aurora viewing, reach out to me on Discord and we can discuss where I may be. For the first time since we started getting Auroras last May, I'm planning on, I'm planning on not being in my backyard, so my photos will no longer feature the photos of my neighbor's house. So I'm excited about that. Clear skies to everyone. I hope we get to the show.